What is jaundice max, hangover max, glute max? So, Laz keeps calling this jaundice max. It really should be called unjaundice max. Um, Glutathione Max is one of those products that actually was developed for a very specific need. And that's my mum. My mum, my mum has fatty liver disease. She insists she didn't get it from being a vegetarian. I think she did. Um, she didn't have it before she decided to be a vegetarian. Um, and we had trialled my mum using Support Max, which saw a good reduction in her uh, liver values and an improvement in her overall sense of well-being and uh, an almost complete cessation of her symptoms. But she didn't like the smell, because it smells a bit eggy. Anyway, I actually suggested that the liposomal glutathione would be a really good tool for her. Liposomal glutathione's got really, really good bioavailability. Um, it does have a distinct taste. I actually don't mind it, um, but my mum didn't like the taste of it. So I started looking into what I could make for her. And I'd looked maybe three years ago at SSC of glutathione as an alternative to NACL cysteine in uh, support max. Now, S acetylglutathione is glutathione bonded to an acetyl uh, molecule that makes it more bioavailable. I believe 93% bioavailability. In studies, 200 milligrams of S acetylglutathione a day for seven days has shown a, an equivalent improvement in blood markers that you would expect from 1400 milligrams of glutathione IV once a week. So that's a really, really impressive number. So we've combined 100 milligrams of S acetylglutathione. So if you're having it twice a day, you would get that 200 milligrams a day with 300 milligrams of Cetria. Now, Cetria is a patented form of glutathione base. Its bioavailability isn't as good, but it's very pure, and um, it's still a good form of glutathione. It's just not as bioavailable as the S-acetyl. Um, and then 4,000 milligrams of choline bitartrate. Now, choline bitartrate, people often consider choline because of the, the, uh, the effect it can have within the brain as a phospholipid to be something involved with cognitive function. But actually, choline bitartrate is often regarded as being bad because it's not, it doesn't cross the blood-brain barrier into the brain. And that's exactly why it's in glutathione max. Because it doesn't cross the blood-brain barrier, it's really, really good at improving uh, liver health via reducing cholestasis or improving cholestasis. Um, so the combination or the entourage effect between the S-acetyl glutathione, the Cetria, and the choline bitartrate sees a general improvement in liver enzymes, liver values. Um, so for someone with something like fatty liver disease, it's really, really good. However, glutathione also carries a whole host of other benefits. It's often called the master antioxidant. Um, it's been used in people that have issues with the liver for, from alcohol, people who are looking to improve their general health. It has a whole range of benefits. The obvious application within bodybuilding is in assisted bodybuilders, particularly in people that are using compounds that are methylated. Um, so I'm not going to name the specific compound because I don't want to be the guy to say, oh, if you're taking this, you should take this. But if you're taking that, you should take this. Um, one of the things, one of the things, uh, <laughs> one of the things that people often do um, is that they will take Tudka-based products with their oral steroids. And Tudka and oral steroids work really well together. But not if you take them at exactly the same time. It, it, there's a, a reaction that's caused, that actually causes more liver harm. So what I would suggest is that this is something that can be used alongside things that might be potentially liver toxic. Not that you should ever be taking anything that's liver toxic. Uh, you could use this at the same time. And if you were running a particularly heavy cycle, you could use it alongside Support Max. If you were just concerned about liver health, you could use this as a standalone. Um, or as a general health supplement, there's no reason you couldn't use this either. Um, we've also found it to be quite good. People who end up with a bit of reflux um, from orals have reported that it's reduced that a little bit. I've also had several people message me, and I didn't expect this, but several people message me reporting an improvement in their skin. And there is a line of science that I can follow with that in terms of the cysteine cycle, um, but it's not something the product was designed for. But, you know, it may be worth a try if you've got issues in that area. If someone has had a night on the piss, could they take this and feel better? They should probably take it with Hydromax, and then yes. I definitely haven't tried that myself. Um, that sounds like bullshit. Yeah. yeah, there's no electrolytes in this, so if you are hungover, a big part of that is gonna just be dehydration. So I'd recommend taking it with an electrolyte, electrolyte plus some supplement needs, or Hydromax. Um, but add that to it, 
bingo bango magically feel better that is not an excuse to drink more i'm not encouraging binge drinking i'm not encouraging getting absolutely blottoed on rum and then using this the following morning so you can present bodybuilding shows don't do that how much 34.95 40 servings 40 Look, money no object, I would be taking this and the full support max range all year round. Like if, if money was no object. So I'd take this, support max OCS, support max joint, and support max neuro all year round. Huh? OCS. On cycle support. Uh, I would take it all year round, yes. Um, if you were on a very tight budget and you're a, a PED user, the original support max is still your go-to. Um, if you wanted one product for general oxidative stress and liver health, it's a really good place to go.